Understanding Return Date, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today we're diving into a common English phrase, return date. Whether you're booking a flight, planning a trip, or dealing with library books, understanding this term is essential. Let's explore its meaning and usage in different contexts. Return date refers to the specific date by which something must be returned or brought back to its original location or owner. It's a deadline, and missing it can have consequences, like late fees or penalties. This term is widely used in various settings, including travel, rentals, and borrowing items. When traveling, the return date is the day you plan to come back from your trip. It's crucial for round-trip tickets in air travel, train journeys, or bus trips. Airlines and travel agencies need this date to book your return flight or journey. In libraries or rental services, the return date is the final day to return borrowed books, movies, or equipment without incurring late fees. This date helps manage inventory and ensures others can access these items. Ignoring a return date can lead to extra charges, penalties, or even legal issues in some cases. It's important to keep track of these dates to avoid unnecessary costs and maintain good standing with service providers. 1. Set Reminders Use your phone or calendar to remind you a few days before the due date. 2. Mark Calendars Physically mark the date on wall or desk calendars. 3. Check regularly. Regularly review your commitments and upcoming return dates. Remember, the return date is more than just a phrase. It's a commitment to return something on time. Whether you're traveling, borrowing a book, or renting equipment, keeping this date in mind is crucial. We hope this video helps you understand and use return date confidently in your English conversations. Thanks for watching and happy learning.